What up, folks? Welcome back to UltraZilla Toys, and today I have a review of the WWE Elite Collection 32 Daniel Bryan. Welcome back to another UltraZilla Toys main event, and this week we're reviewing a Daniel Bryan figure. Yes, if you've watched my uh, reviews earlier this week, I don't know which one I, it was, but I was going to review this guy, Storm Collectibles Hogan. Um, however, I do like to stay topical with these, and we do have a WWE pay-per-view this weekend, uh, Clash of Champions, where Daniel Bryan is going to be a special guest referee. And we will talk about that a little bit later on in this review. And if you haven't seen my... Uh, UltraZilla Toys main event reviews. It is a uh, part review, part wrestling discussion. So uh, I just wanted a, a slot to uh, talk a little wrestling and talk a little figure. So boom, a little combo, combo meal for you guys. I hope you more of you guys. And I was encouraged by the last one, uh, the Sting one, where some more some folks talked. Uh, so that was very cool. Commented, got into some little conversations. That's the, what I'd like to see uh, from this. Wrestling is a thing a lot of people are into now, and uh, the wrestling figures for me give me an avenue without creating another channel to talk a little wrestling, but you never know in the future. Um, so as you see, he is in uh, this like grayish, purplish garb here. This figure is representative of the Daniel Bryan that uh, and then joined the Wyatt family for a very, very brief time period. Um, I, I, I want to say it was weeks, a couple of weeks, you know, like really uh, before he turned on Bray and they had their classic Royal Rumble match, which was very good. Um, it was also the Rumble where the fans started going crazy that Daniel wasn't actually in the Rumble. Um, this outfit little glittery, little shiny, not glittery, yeah, like a little shiny, um, and, uh, you gotta put it on him, it's kind of elastic -y. I was afraid it wasn't gonna be very easy to put on him, uh, but I was wrong, it was very easy, uh, and he does look pretty cool in it, I gotta say, um, I don't, I don't mind that at all, however, I don't know if I'll be using this on display, uh, with my Daniel Bryan here, so, um, you know, and you, let's take it off. I haven't taken it off at all. <laughs> I just tried it on before. But it's pretty cool. You know, not bad. Not bad at all. So, let's see. Yeah. Let's see. Let's pull down his pants. Uh, getting them over the, the knee pads is what is stopping it. But there you go. Not so bad. And here you go. Classic Daniel Bryan uh, outfit on the bottom. Pretty cool. Um, this is pre the like little fuzzy stuff he had going on after this. So, uh, But I, I liked this outfit as well. It's pretty cool. Um, it's, it's a decent looking Daniel Bryan figure. You know, like the head sculpt is, it's okay. It's not so bad. It's doable as Daniel Bryan, you know. The eyes are in place, looks fine. The uh, the beard looks sufficiently uh, good, you know. <laughs> hair looks very nice. So not bad. No shading in the hair or beard at all. Um, but it works. You know, it could be worse. Uh, body type is fine. Kind of standard. You know, nothing crazy. And then, uh, you know, the things... That I always say about Mattel figures, they have great tampo printing. As you can see right there. And on the back there, the DB. On his boots, same thing. Paint looks good. Tampo printed paint. Uh, the paints here on the lines aren't so great on the boots. But is what it is. And then there's like stray reds around. You know, little smears there. Which is unfortunate. Uh, but it isn't too bad. You know, a little bit extra right there. But otherwise, uh, the tampo printing does look pretty good. You know, so. Uh, articulation, head, 
I believe is on the ball joint up there. Hinge swivel at the shoulder. Bicep rotation. Single jointed elbow. Hinge swivel at the wrist. And crunch. Swivel at the waist. Ball jointed hips. Kicks out pretty good. Splits pretty good. Goes back. Eh. Upper thigh. Double jointed knee. Uh, I, I do like that the knee pad's a nice floating piece and that you can move it around and get that double knee going very well. Boot cut. And then, ooh, very, very tight. Scarily tight uh, ankle here. Ooh, I feel like I'm gonna break that one. Sheesh, let's check out the other one. Oh, oh my. All right, so that's that's no good. Neither, uh, <laughs> neither one is uh, moving on me. So uh, I'm gonna leave that as is. Uh, that's a little scary, unfortunately. Yeah. That, that's a mark against this figure. I picked this figure up at uh, Ringside Collectibles during their uh, Black Friday sale, and uh, I got them for like super cheap, under ten bucks. Uh, you know, that's that's been my uh, you know my thing. If you haven't heard, with me getting into the WWE elites, trying to go for the you know discounted ones. You know, I'm not trying to be like on top of the the newest. Uh, I'll get. You know, I, I'm a long, long uh, time wrestling fan, so getting into it, uh, I'm starting really, really cheap, getting like cheap figures when I can get them uh, to add to the collection. I think that's the way to go, you know. So it's one of the things I decided. If I'm going to collect these guys, I'm going to do so at a discount. Um, but yeah, this is a good Daniel Bryan figure. And now... As we start looking at some um, size comparisons, because one thing I really like about these elite figures, and even the basic figures, is the size. Um, they're, they're nicely, nicely sized. And I'm going to bring two guys in here. The guys that started off my uh, series, my Saturday night series here. Um, Sammy and uh, Kevin Owens, these are the basic figures. Um, I don't know if they'll be staying in my collection. Um, I might, you know, trade them out for elites of them eventually down the line. Uh, but yeah, I have them now. That's how they compare. You know, Daniel Bryan sufficiently, you know, smaller than them, which is good. Now I'll keep them here for a second because they're involved in the angle this weekend at Clash of Champions. And you know, the little thing I want to talk about is. Um, it's really looking like Daniel Bryan's coming back to wrestle, guys. Uh, I know he's been working hard to try to get cleared, visiting doctors all over the place. And I I mean, this whole angle with Shane McMahon and the friction between them concerning Owens and Zayn and, you know, previously the invasion angle, it's, um, you know, the Sapphire Series invasion angle, you know, like, it's looking like we're going to get a Shane Bryan match somewhere down the line. Now, you know, word is SummerSlam, but why would you hold off that long, you know? Unless you're trying to do it, you know, right before Daniel Bryan, you know, it, his contract is set to expire if if that's the route they're going. But, man, I think that's, that's silly. Why would they let Daniel Bryan go, <laughs> you know? Um, if he could wrestle, let him wrestle, you know? I don't know. I understand it. Um, my feeling is if he's cleared everywhere, you got to give him a chance. He's one of your biggest stars still to this day. You know, still at a good age. Um, man, you know, like, I don't l love Shane as much as I used to, but I, th I still think it'll produce an entertaining match. And if you're going to have that match, get that on Mania. Get that, make that a WrestleMania match. Daniel Bryan versus Shane McMahon will bring in the views, no doubt. All right, so there's that size comparison with these guys, and you know my little uh, wrestling discussion. You let me know what you think uh, is gonna happen with Daniel Bryan, and here's some other figures to bring in: the just reviewed Heavy Blade Praetorian Guard, and uh, here we have. Storm Collectibles Noob Sabot. 
Who else do we got around here? How about Takara Tomi Hot Rod? And since we brought him in before at the top, let's take a look at uh, Hollywood Hogan with him. That's how they scale. And there you go, guys. That's all I have for this review. I hope you dug it. hope you dug this um, Ultrazilla Toys main event review and little WWE discussion. Let me know your thoughts on the figure. And let me know your thoughts on Clash of Champions. Who do you have going? Uh, give me your predictions down below. I'm curious to hear what you think of the card itself. And how you see... This particular match with Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn going, uh, their careers, quote unquote, is on the line. We shall see their WWE careers. All right, so that's all I have. So please like, comment, subscribe, and share. And until next time, peace out, peeps.